Sorry, Junkyard Dog, uh, Cody Walters. Cody, first off, uh, match tonight. I've never seen you score that fast and furious of a takedown. What was going through your head in the first three seconds getting a double leg? Well, you know, I'm I consider this a home duel for me. Uh, all my friends and family here, I've been, you know, I've been talking to people all week. So they're saying they're coming, so I knew I had to put on a show. And you know, so I saw an opening right away. Actually, in my head, I already thought I was going to shoot right away. So as soon as I saw an opening, I just took it and went on from that. Last year, you guys rolled them kind of how they rolled you tonight. You know, you guys did what, you know, you did it to them last yeah. year. You guys had the trophy for a year. You know, uh, you know, coming out here in this duel and how you guys performed, how do you feel about the team? I know that, you know, you couldn't get, you were frustrated versus Volant. You couldn't get him turned. You're look, working hard on top, but, you know, he's, he was doing what he was supposed to do. Yeah. Now get turned and beat up, but as, as far as the team, you know, what's Coach Greenlee going to tell you guys? As far as the team, I mean, we didn't do terrible. We didn't do it near as good as we could. We, you know, we've been, uh, Jermaine's been preaching, you got to be tough. You got to be out there. I, you know, in some ways, I don't think we were that tough. I don't think we came out there and wanted to, wanted to put it to them, you know. Uh, I don't know what happened. I mean, things happen and things don't go our way. Then one thing happens after another, and fortunately, some, some matches we need to win, we lost. But, you know, it's not the end. We're going to keep going, you know. We've had a lot of, like, two days and stuff with a lot of hard practices, and uh, we're, pre we're prepping for March. That's what matters, and that's where at the MAC tournament, that's where I think we're going to perform our best and then lead going to the national tournament. You know, I look at this being a home duel for you. You know, your dad and, and Jim Anderson went to high school together, right? Yeah. And, and you don't come here, and, I, you know, you and I have talked about this before, but being able to come here and, you know, have the support you have, not coming to Kent, not staying 20 minutes away from home. How good has Athens, Ohio, and Ohio University been for you? Athens is amazing. Like, when I took my visit here in Kent, I wanted to go to Kent so bad, and, you know, I just felt like Jimmy wasn't giving me the respect I deserved or, you know. And so when I met Greenlee and he told me that well, how great he thinks I can be and how much he believed in me, and when you hear a college coach telling you how good he thinks he can be and how much he believes in you, it's kind of hard not to go there. So I took my chances and, you know, I, every time I wrestle a Kent kid, I wrestle with a little extra fire. I don't like losing to, to a golden flash just in the aspect of, you know, I look at that could have been me I'm wrestling. So I go a little harder when I wrestle a Kent kid, I feel. When you wrestle Marsh, you know, you you have uh, you beat him in the finals of the, I think, Oklahoma thing in New York. Navy. Na oh, Navy class. Yeah. You beat him there. But, uh, you know, looking at the series with Marsh, it's always competitive. But you always seem to just do what you do and win. Um, is that a guy you, you kind of look forward to wrestling? You know, you say you want to wrestle Kent guys, but do you want to wrestle Caleb Marsh? Is he, is he fun to wrestle, hard Marsh to wrestle? Is, Marsh is fun to wrestle just because I've never wrestled a kid with a, a vice grip like his. I think it's crazy because I like to consider myself an amazing grip. So when he comes out and grabs, I like trying to find ways to win and overcome it. And, you know, me and Marsh are really good friends, I feel. After wrestling, we can be laughing until we step on the mat together. Then it gets a little more serious. But, you know, Marsh is a great competitor, and I love wrestling him. And I'm sure he's going to keep doing well, and hopefully he heals up or whatever. But, yeah, Marsh is a great competitor. When I look at your match, I think it was McCulley in the finals arena. Yeah. It looks like a 184 wrestler and a 165 pounder. The guy's enormous. Yeah. When the guys look at you, do you think guys are like, man, this guy doesn't look like much? That's what I say about him. He don't look like much, but you can wrestle. Yeah. When, when guys look at you and don't take you seriously, I mean, guys being so much more jacked, physically imposing than you, does that affect your psyche at all? Do you think it like, man, you know, I might not look like much, but you can scrap. Do you guys, do you look at that at all? Um, not really. I mean, because like my freshman year when I went 52 in high school, I, uh, you were 52 as a freshman? 52, 52, 52, 60. I mean, I wrestled these big jack kids and they would come at me hard, hard. They'd be beating me and then by the third period they couldn't even put up their arms anymore and I'd be that short little fat kid going to work. I mean, I mean, I've, so I've, I've dealt with it and now I look at it like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty strong. I feel, I feel I can go after these kids. So I just, no, I really don't look at it because I look at them like, okay, if you think you can overpower me, come at me hard. I'm gonna flip flop, I'm gonna roly poly oly. I'm gonna do something fun to create some action and once the action gets moving I'm pretty hard to beat. Uh, yeah, I mean, you just you find ways to win. Is it like, are you, when I shut the camera up, are you gonna like punch me in the face or say you don't look like much? But, you know, like I think that's been your thing your whole life. You just, you haven't looked yeah. like much, but you win. Right, right. And you know, like I told you before, I love to win. And, you know, I've opened up more here and I promise as the season gets on by Max and Nationals, I'm going to be rolling. I'm going to be right where I want to be. Okay, yeah, speaking of that, what do you got to do to be in the Kokish, Brown, 
Evans. What do you got to do to be the, you know, a guy who's right in at 174, ready to win a national title? What do you got to do? What's got to change from now to then? Just wrestle with my swagger. Like, go out and do what I do. Have some fun. Go after these guys for seven minutes because I'm that good. And, you know, at times I felt like I doubted that a lot, but I know I'm that good. I've come in practice harder than anyone I feel in the country, you know. It might not be true, but I believe it, so... By the time I get to Max and Nationals, it's going to be my time. All right, man. Always fun to watch. Always watch. Love watching the junk, the junkyard dogs. Cody Walters, you got anything else for me? That's it. Thank you. All right, brother. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it.